All right, guys, we're back with another Edison Format Finals at Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Steven Bronner on the left playing Synchro Cat Zombies versus YCS champion Dennis Nadas on the right playing Dragon Turbo. So we'll see how this one goes. Looks like Steven went first, set a monster, set a backwards. So this is Steven's trying to get his fourth win on the channel versus Dennis trying to get his first. So Dennis activates Heavy Storm. Oh! Oh, wow. I feel bad. Steven did the right play. He pre-played uh, Dennis by setting MST to try to hit the future future, but uh, Dennis had the heavy storm. I mean, come on, man. This is ridiculous. I feel bad for Steven. You, uh, Dennis opened heavy future fusion. It's not like he activated any draw cards. He just raw drew both of them <laughs> and searched all three blue eyes. Good God. It's already, game one's already looking bad for Steven. We'll see. If, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not looking good. Depending on the rest of Dennis's hand. Let's see. All right. This is Dennis's second time in the finals. The, fir the first time was actually really close, him versus Prince. It was like a, maybe like a month ago. He played Prince in the finals. And Steven's been in the finals. This is what? His seventh time in the finals. He's actually three and three in the finals. At the end of all my videos, like there's a list of like the top ten players with the most wins on the channel. It's a little unfair because like there's some people who just play more, way more than others, and been playing a lot longer. But it is what it is. I I want to keep. I like keeping track of the stats and who makes the finals. Made me motivate people. All right, let's see. So Dennis summons Vortex Trooper. So that's some good news for Steven. He might not get like totally. Killed, but Dennis activates Pot of Avarice. Okay, this was this. There's just slamming the. This angle is a little bit different. I, I normally don't film on this one. All right, so there comes Continents, and he's gonna search another Blue Eyes. Uh, this deck is like this is the one deck that I kind of don't enjoy watching because it's kind of like it, it takes a long time for them to make their plays I, 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 say, I say this in a lot of videos it's like watching advanced Yu-Gi-Oh almost when I watch this deck which Dennis mostly plays advanced that's why I think he would have more wins on the channel but he just most of the time they kind of run the Edison tournament and the advanced tournament at the same time on Saturday night so that's why Dennis doesn't play as much as some of the others all right so here Dennis is going to activate Rejuve after the upstart sorry I didn't even see that upstart so 9,000, 8,000, and Steven with the Heavy Storm back. Oh, he set, like, Consonants and Reju, but I think he chained Reju. I'm guessing he just didn't want to discard those cards, so he set them. All right, Steven with the Instant Fusion. Maybe Steven can kill him? Okay, so he Kaiuses him. Oh, Steven needs Book of Life. Come on, Book of Life. No, Steven, I don't think he has Book of Life. So I think he hit him with both. Does Dennis have like a Gores or a Trag? Let's find out. Dennis is checking his grave. All right. So he drops the Ghost, that Ghost Gores. So he took 36. See, that Ghost Gores, I can't even tell it's Gores. This is why I tell people I hate the Ghost Rares. They look nice in person, but like on camera, they I can't even tell that's Gores. I have to like really zoom in. And Dennis with that blue eyes token. All right. So we have him 8,000 to 44. Oh, man, this is not looking good for Steven. I mean, Dennis probably has a bunch of dragon cards in his hand. Maybe, but he, he all he did was summon Vortex Trooper last turn. All right. Then it's Summon Snipe Hunter. It's a card that a lot of uh, Dragon Turbo players have started using in their deck. It's a, I think that card's pretty good. Because st uh, starters can't even negate it. Neither can Prime Material. It's annoying. And this card always has a... Okay, so he did call priority. And oh, he rolled a one. <laughs> so Steven had the bottomless. 
So he bottomless the snipe hunter and obviously Dennis Cobb already rolled one. <laughs> Alright, so he takes three hundred. It looks like Dennis didn't attack the the turtle. I'm not sure if Dennis I don't think Dennis watches the channel, so maybe he just knows not to attack the, the floaters or the, the turtles and the tomatoes and stuff. Cause he could have ran it over with the token, but I think I think he just knows. I mean, Dennis has been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. He's been, I don't know, like eight years, I think. I don't know if he's played the whole eight years, but he's been playing a long time. Anyways, here comes Debris, Synchros for eight, probably a Stardust. Oh, no, Dark yet. I thought he was going to go for Stardust. Maybe he's not afraid of the back row. I was thinking he was going to go for Stardust. He searches Blue Eyes and then, like, um, and then go off. But I guess this way he gets rid of that turtle, so he doesn't have to worry about Steven, like, stalling him out or anything. Okay. Oh, but does he have prime material in the grave? If he has prime material, then he's probably going to try and just swarm the field and then drop a prime, I think. Again, I don't know what's in Dennis's hand. Just, he put all his dragons back with Avarice. So yeah, Dennis is checking to see what's gone. Probably checking his Torrential gone, his Mirror Force gone. Let's see. I mean, this Steven's got one one back row and one faced out monster where Dennis has like six cards in his hand. He's got a full hand. Even if he gets Mirror Force right here, it's like... Uh, I, so Dennis chooses to attack. I've been saying this in previous videos, man. This deck, if... If you don't have much experience against Dragon Turbo, it's the most overwhelming deck in Edison to face. I think it's a deck I hate playing against the, the least. Because, like, Bayou Turbo, yeah, they have Return and Dark Arm, but those are, like, one-ofs. Even Light Storms with JD, but this deck, they, they just, sometimes they just overwhelm you by drawing their whole deck. That's why I think it's, like, the scariest deck to go up against. Anyways, I think I might have messed up life. So here, I'm going to guess that Dennis hit him for 1,000 with Debris Dragon. And then he attacks over Debris for 7. So I have him 67, 37. And here comes Reckless from Dennis. People should really use dice with Reckless because it happened to me twice on camera where people drew under Reckless and I, and I didn't catch it. Once against Chainburn and the other time Dennis and I played. I didn't even see it. Even when I commented, I didn't see that he drew. The only reason I, I found out that he drew on the record was because my friend Sal told me that he did. And I was like, oh, I didn't notice. I probably would have won that game. So he discards, gets the heavy, heavies, Steven's return. And if 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 Dennis has red MD, I think that's game. Yeah, it is. If he has red MD. Let's see if he has it. So he discarded a blue eyes and a card destruction for magical stone excavation. Maybe he doesn't have Red MD. I think he would have slammed it down. Oh, I spoke too soon. Yep, this is probably game. Yeah, Dennis knows. Unless if Steven's got Gores. Only Gores saves him. He could also make another level 8 with the token and the stone. So Dennis takes game 1. Overwhelms Steven. Let's see if Steven can force a game 3. Can he pull off the Legacy 2-0? And get his fourth win on the channel or Dennis get his first. Dennis, if you're watching, we need you to come play some more Edison, man. Because I hate playing against Dragon Turbo, but I do need to practice. I need to find a way to side, side counter this deck with like with a certain side, side cards. Anyway, Dennis Continence is the stone. Searches blue eyes. Oh, he's going to... It looks like he has a Snipe Hunter again. Well, the... The good news is De Dennis did not open heavy future fusion like he did game one. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> he mi he missed with snipe hunter again. Oh my god, this card kills me. Oh, but he hit the turtle the second time. <laughs> I told this story the other day, but my friend Josh and I played like I think it was like a week ago. It wasn't on camera, but he rolled with snipe hunter five times and he missed four out of the five. And he grabbed his dice and he threw it threw it in the trash. 
<laughs> oh my god, I was dying. All right. So Dennis sets a backers probably reckless. That's the only thing he says. Now, one time I did see Dennis sign into Torrential and Mirror Four, so that maybe he put that in. They're not bad because he needs to out Fossil Dinah. Okay, so here. He Kais is the Snipe Hunter. No, he didn't. No, wait, what happened? Oh, yeah, he Kais the Snipe Hunter. So at 7,000 to 55. Then he Book of Lives, the Reaper, the Nightmare. But Dennis, what happened? He chained, he chained Crow to the Book of Life, and they're arguing whether he gets the... He still gets to banish the Blue Eyes, and that's what Dennis is arguing. I said, Dennis doesn't play much Edison. Luckily, like I told him, and there was other people there who told him that he still gets to banish for Book of Life, and that's what they're arguing about. I remember because they actually asked me. So, <laughs> some of you guys may have watched. I got destroyed by Dennis in top four. It was, it was bad. He, he too owed me quick too. <laughs> okay, here comes the reckless. Oh, so the track's big, or that he's crashing with the track. Okay, that's interesting. It looks like. Steven, I think, hit him for 12. I might have messed up life points this game. Ooh, that's pretty good. But he deprisons the Kwaki Mario. I was thinking, like, what do you get? I mean, Steven's under Reckless, and he mills the Rejuve. All right, here comes Reckless. So he takes 23, but he drops the Gores. And here comes Upstart from Dennis. They're playing fast. So I have him 65, 35. Steven's got no cards in hand. That dang ghost scores, man. I think everyone in my local is playing ghosts just to spite me. <laughs> it, like every, Steven's playing a ghost scores and a ghost dark card, and now Dennis is playing ghost scores. I'm going to have to buy everyone a, <laughs> a different rare scores. The problem is I get Ghost, Gores, and Dark Arm confused because they're both level 7 Darks. Similar attack. Alright, so Dennis chooses not to hit any of Steven's monsters. The token's at, what, 12? So he can't really run into any of the monsters. So then, yeah, this is just a... And then Dennis can't draw because of Reckless. And now Steven's got Smashing Ground, get rid of Gores, and Passed. Smashing Ground against Dragon Turbo? That's interesting. I don't know if I'd side that card. I mean, Steven probably has nothing else to side deck. Steven took like two months off for medicine, so maybe his like side deck's not optimized. And I think like the two the two months when Dennis was playing, like no one, no one was playing, no one plays Dragon Turbo on my local except... Sal and Dennis, they're the only two Dragon players that we have. Occasionally, other people will play it, but, like, those two were the only ones who played it consistently. Okay, so maybe this this might have been a mistake that Dennis just made by tribute summoning the Prime Material, because now you're going to let... Now you're going to let Steven crash his turtle to get a Plague Spreader or whatever he wants. So maybe you're better off just leaving the token in defense... I mean, you already used Trag and Gores, so. No, Steven should crash the turtle. I think he should crash the turtle. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what Steven's plan is. So here he takes 13. He could have done this. He could have crashed the turtle, got the plague, synchroed with the goblin zombie. But again, I don't know what Steven's plan. Maybe Steven doesn't want, maybe he wants to leave the turtle up against dragons. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what Steven's game plan is here. We'll see. He has a D prison in hand, and... Yeah, yeah, if you were going to do this... Oh, he's going to Brio him. Yeah, Steven messed up. He should have just crashed the turtle. Search... Yeah, turtle, get the plague. Synchro for six, get a Mizuki. Oh, God, Steven, no. <laughs> you might still win, though. Oh, dark armed off the top. Ghost dark armed. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you get rewarded making the bad play. And Steven Chase reads you. I mean, this is game. You don't, uh, Dennis doesn't have 
Trag or Gores. They're both God. <laughs> He's checking the darks. Yo, that's crazy. Steven messed up and he got rewarded by getting by drawing dark armor and had exactly three darks. Oh my god. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I f it makes up for it. Steven Drew insane guy. Not Steven, sorry. Dennis Drew, future, open future heavy game one. So, anyway, game three. Will Dennis get that first win or will Bronder pull off the legacy 2 0 and get his fourth win on the channel? I think they kind of both, like, Steven, I mean, Dennis should not have tribute summoned the prime material because he allowed Steven to crash. And then Steven should have crashed the turtle. If he was going to make that play, he should have 100% crashed the turtle. And got the plague instead of the uh, instead of just instead of searching the plague, and you also waste your normal summon that way. Anyway, it looks like Dennis open future fusion again, or he might have drawn it off the vortex trooper as possible. So he's sending blue eyes, prime material, Quakimaru Drago, stone, and. Debris Dragon. Ooh, look at the glare. All right. So he searches Blue Eyes, trades in the Blue Eyes. Upstarts. Yeah, when this deck draws Future Fusion, it's like so unfair. The one time I played it at Locals... And I opened Future... I think I was playing against my friend Luigi. I destroyed him. I opened Future Fusion, I think, all three games. <laughs> I felt bad for him. I would have I would have topped... The, the one time I played Dragon Turbo, I would have made top top four, but I got screwed on a ruling against Donnell. Ooh, cat. So he can hit if he has... Oh, this is not that great. I guess he can attack with Raikou, and then at least he'll get one card out of uh, Dennis's hand because... Vortex Trooper, zero attack. Yeah, so here he takes 200. So he's going to take 18 total and then hits with Air Bellum. And uh, Dennis drops the Trag. He's got, what, five cards in hand? Three hits the Stone. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I wonder what else was in his hand. You hit probably the worst card you could hit. Oh, and then Steven smashing grounds the Trag. Oh, my God. Sometimes, it, look, this is just Yu-Gi-Oh, man. I, w I, w I wish I could see what else was in Dennis's hand. Because he probably doesn't have Continence, right? Well, he, he drew Continence just now. Oh, he had another stone. Maybe he already had... Maybe he had double stone, so it was just... Maybe there was just nothing uh, Dennis... Sorry, not Dennis. Steven could do. But here comes Avarice. He's going to put back, what, Debris, Trag, Whitestone, and I couldn't see the other two cards he put back. Oh, well, okay. It's Trag, two stones, and blue eyes. And maybe Steven's got Crow. Oh, yeah, he's going to Crow him. Yeah, he Crows the blue eyes. Now here comes Debris. I don't know about Crow against this deck. It's just, it's okay. You can hit like the Debris Dragon, their Avarice. So he brings back Prime Material. So it looks like Steven doesn't have, does not have Torrential because he probably would have Torrential. So we know that. Oh, another Red MD. Kawaki Meru Drago. How much? I mean, this this is not nine thousand. Tax for four. Four. Yeah. 28. 24. And 19. And Den and Steven cannot special summon light or dark monsters. And he has one air bellum staring down this huge field. Let's see if Dennis can... Not Dennis. Sorry. I keep getting their names confused. Steven. Steven's playing cat zombies. Dennis is playing dragon turbos. For you. And Steven scoops. So... Dennis gets his first win on the channel. So congrats. It's about time, I think. He got second, like I said, recently. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the finals.
There's only the second person to win with Dragon Turbo. So, hope you guys enjoy the finals. And we'll be back soon for another tournament. Bye, guys.